Well, hopefully we'll have a nicer Ohashi Junko video than the last time when the trains were going off and I wasn't screaming at the trains. Well, it's quiet. No trains this time. That's nice. Um, so Junko Ohashi passed away November of last year. But this month, 2024, marks the 50th anniversary of when she started out. This is her first album. I mean, her very first album was in June of 1974. So um, what I wanted to do is play about five or six second samples of all of her music, like I did before. Um, a lovely woman. Shame I never got to meet her. And uh, I think around 1977, by the time I was born, she cut her hair short. And I think it was very, very popular for, for uh, Japanese girls to have their hair short. Whereas in, in America, uh, girls would have their hair long. Guys have, dudes and gals had their hair long in the 70s with the bell bottom pants and the wood panel walls and all that. And it's, it, it was a different time, the discotheque and all that. Yeah, this was a very different time. So um, what I want to do right now is kind of go through those songs and then kind of give my uh, spiel at the end. But um, yeah, she helped me to rediscover the 70s, 80s, and even some of the 90s. All over again. When I got tired of the fucking radio. And I got tired of certain songs. Now I listen to more death metal than anything else. But here we go. We're going to listen to some music.
makes no difference who you are. Domo arigato. Oh, domo arigato, minasan. Konnichiwa. Ohayo gozaimasu, konbanwa. You know, so my Japanese is not that great. But it was just, it's so lovely to see her this last time. I think this was one of her last performances before she uh, her cancer got worse. But this is Simple Love. And um, yeah, it. Uh, I don't know if anybody's celebrating the 50th anniversary. I put, um, I'm putting the title in uh, kanji and um, let's, let's, let's control the color, please. Okay, got, got control of the color. So I'm putting the title in Japanese and kanji and uh, because out of respect that she is of Japanese origin, not Japanese American origin, but uh, I'm, I'm sure she knows she was well aware of her American fan base and I hope she was well aware of a lot of people that listen to her. I, I wonder what she thought of it. I wonder what she thought of people like us who listen to her because we did listen to her. Uh, it was easier with the internet, but back then before the internet, if you... If you went into a Japanese store in Little Tokyo, maybe you found her her records. Maybe you didn't. But um, yeah, it's it's such a great time. To, I mean, this 50th anniversary. The only thing that's uh, imperfect is that uh, Junko Sensei is not here to enjoy it with us. So, however, you're all doing it. Uh, Nippon Day in America. I hope you're all celebrating it. Thank you all for tuning in. I like it when you visit and I love it when you return. Let's listen to a few seconds of her final performance here. <laughs> 